Hey folks, how y'all doing? Today we have a pretty unusual log. It's a sycamore. Uh, this one's smaller than I would normally get. Chip's trying to dust the dirt off here with its tail. And uh, normally I would always quarter saw this log because quarter sawing sycamore turns into American lace wood. Problem with this is this is a small log. So uh, it's gonna be too, saw, too small to quarter saw. The um, thing that's pretty cool about it though is that it, well, thank you, come here. Come here. This is why we call him Chip. He loves getting stuff, especially wood. He comes by his name now. Come here. Come here. So, anyway, smile for the camera. He's a cutie. He helps supervise, he's one of my best workers. So, he also likes to steal the show. So anyway, this is uh, got some red to it. And typically when you saw sycamore and it's red, it's gonna have a beautiful pink color. Also, it's got these little ambrosia beetle flags in it right here. And typically that means it's gonna be an exceptional looking log. And hopefully it's worth pulling the camera out and showing you some really pretty wood. So let's get to it. Let's see what this looks like. Just thought, uh, let's see if I can wipe it off here. So, that is gorgeous. It don't get much prettier than this. Look at that. That is what we're talking about. This is just the first few cuts. Notice how, how bright red, almost pink this is. It's beautiful. Ambrosia maple flags. I mean, that just looks gorgeous. Uh, this is going to be a good one here. Let's cut a few more boards off.
Chip's trying to help out. Hey Chip, you got something stuck in your teeth. You might wanna you might wanna get that out. <laughs> it's just a little piece right up there, you know. I'll go get the dental floss. Okay. Do I don't know if y'all realize it. The stacking wood is one of the most crucial parts of producing good lumber. It's also one of the most boring, aggravating, backbreaking, otherwise not fun thing you can do. I guess you could equate it to uh, poking your eyes out with a dull stick about that much fun but you got to do it and this is some pretty wood so it's worthwhile if you don't sticker your wood good it's not gonna dry flat tell you something else if you ever do get a sawmill you're gonna have to learn to talk to yourself People want to be around when you're not running. But trust me, as soon as you fire it up, you'll see people disappear after about an hour. There is nothing that will run people off more than handing them a pair of gloves and say, help me on the sawmill this weekend. They're gone, which, you know, I can't blame them. It's not an easy job. Just a matter of stacking wood. Hey, let's go to the health club. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to do some reps today. Let's see what this mess looks like. Look at this pretty lace effect right here. Um, these are the ambrosia beetle marks. Actually, there are two of the little bitty ambrosia galleries right there. And uh, some of this sawdust off of here. Bright red. This is what I was hoping for. Look at this. Real pretty look right here. That's gorgeous. It's gonna be some nice looking stuff to sell. Of course, I gotta dry it. Then we gotta work it. This live ed song goes pretty quick. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people do when using a band mill, especially a hydraulic band mill, is they over clamp everything. A lot of times the log or the cant itself is heavy enough to keep things in place while you're doing your song. This is really important when you're doing live edge stuff. Because live edge doesn't have a square edge. It's like trying to saw a greasy football. It's not real easy. Sometimes the log wants to just simply pop out of the clamps. So when you're trying to get that real thin board at the end, you don't have any way to clamp that. If you over clamp, it's just gonna pop out because there's no square edge for these things to hold on to. Well, that's fine. If you got a thousand pound log on the sawmill and you got a bandsaw going through it, don't clamp it. Just go slow. When you go slow, the way the log keeps it on the bed, you don't have to worry about hitting your clamps, or worse yet, you don't have to worry about the log 
popping out of the clamps here and you're getting a tapered board. So that's an important tip. You don't always have to clamp. On the other hand, another important tip is you really need to know when you can clamp or not clamp because if you don't clamp and you should have clamped, it's going to be a mess. So I don't know if that's a helpful tip or not. That's just something that I do. This has been a fun one. I've enjoyed doing this. Uh, hopefully, come visit us, Hobby Hardwood, Alabama. We're in North Alabama, Southern Tennessee, just northeast of Huntsville, Alabama. Go on to the website, hobbyhardwoodalabama.com, and uh, we'll be seeing you.